If you told a non-swimmer to do two rounds of 10 100s on 130 with fins and paddles, first round choice, second round stroke, descend one to three, hold number four, and then told them to go 10 seconds back and leave on the bottom, they would probably be a little bit confused and potentially even a little bit offended. And that's because swimming has its own language. We don't think about it too often because it is undeniably true that swimmers hang out with, you guessed it, swimmers. And when you're hanging out with swimmers, you can talk about split times, world records, whatever's going on in the sport without realizing that if someone was trying to eavesdrop on your conversation that was a non-swimmer, their brain might overheat after just listening for a couple of minutes. But it doesn't just stop at jumbles of words where a coach is trying to explain what they want their swimmers to do. One of my favorite examples of swimming having its own language is in high-tech results sheets. There should be one on the screen next to me and some swimmers absolutely hate them. Those same swimmers for some reason probably hate Meet Mobile, even though I am quite unsure why. It's just an app. If the results aren't showing up, then it is likely the fault of the person trying to send those results to the app and not actually the app itself. Sorry for that little sidebar there. But if you're anything like me, a high-tech result page is one of your favorite places to be on the internet. You'll sit there waiting for your teammate, son, daughter, favorite swimmer, whoever, for their results to pop up on the screen, refreshing the page, clicking on the link that should populate the results, clicking on last completed event to try and get the results to populate that way, refreshing your entire page, restarting your entire computer, going out to buy a new computer, resetting up that computer and opening up that link just to see if maybe the new computer would populate those results. If you're a swimmer, you've been there. And here's a little pro tip for you. If you actually click on the refresh button, hopefully I'm explaining it with a little video next to me. If you click on the refresh button on the actual page itself for the results that you're trying to populate, Sometimes that actually populates the results. I'm not sure why, just a little pro tip for you. Give it a try during your next meet. But the best way to illustrate why a high-tech results page proves why swimming has its own language is to look at a results page from an 800 freestyle relay. I mean, look at this. It should be up on the screen next to me. You have reaction times, you have splits, you have names, you have so many numbers on the screen that it's overwhelming even for a swimmer to open up a page like this and try to understand what they're looking at. But the coolest thing about this and the reason that I'm making this video is because swimmers have this really weird superpower and it involves a high-tech results sheet like this. Swimmers can read exactly what you're looking at on the screen next to me as if it is a non-fiction book. You can read the numbers and look at the names and the splits and the placing and create a real visual in your head of what took place based on how fast the first split was from this person versus this person, how fast these teams were going, where they were at here or there. You can really visualize an entire race as a swimmer without even actually having to watch it just based on staring at all of these numbers that look like terribly formatted code on the screen next to me. It's pretty wild and it definitely proves that swimming does have its own language. The only problem with that is it doesn't have a name yet. So in this moment, on Swimming YouTube, we are going to do the unthinkable. We are going to name a new language. So go down to the comment section right now, have some fun with it, and try to name Swimming's language. And the best comment, the comment with the most likes, is going to be the name for Swimming's new language. While you're on your way down there, hit that like button, subscribe if you want more videos like this to pop up on your homepage, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.